On today's episode of Watch JRGO, we are back to working on the V-Rod and hopefully today we've got these new tires on there and a completely new braking system. What is going on guys? I am Watch JRGO and today I'm here with Ben from Street Skins and he just got in our new tires, the Metzler ME888 Ultra Marathon, Marathon Ultra some order there yeah <laughs> and Something like that yeah if you need <laughs> tires or bike parts in wichita this is where you go street skins in the town east mall one of my good friends and uh, i pretty much have always gotten all my tires and parts from him because first they're the best deals and second he's the easiest guy to deal with around here so we're headed to the harley store next which is the opposite <laughs> and uh then we're headed to get these tires put on also he's got all your helmets coats maintenance stuff whatever you need Harley mission accomplished. You can see we're here at the palace and there's actually a lot of people out today for how insanely windy it is. Look at the flag. There's like straight line winds today. It is nasty out here, but a huge pile of Harley Davidson logos. Front rear rotors, front pads, and we've got rear pads at the shop. I think that's a brake job. Let's go get these Brembo calipers on there. The V-Rod looks incredible strapped down to this trailer. Check it out. It like lowers it about two inches, which is like the greatest stance of all time. And just like that, we're over here with the V-Rod at my buddy Marcos. He is the tire master. You guys have seen me here before. We've done plenty of tires. He's got these uh, machines all set up to do motorcycle tires, which is honestly kind of rare unless you're at a motorcycle shop. So he's got the balancer for them. He's got the machine set up to do them. And he's got the motorcycle lift. So easy peasy. The shock comes off and then it slides out of probably this side, I guess. We're hoping so, but we're... this is Harley, which means it probably comes out of the... And now we have to remove the mufflers as well. The whole exhaust. Just guessing, I don't know. <laughs> My luck with Harley says, oh look, it's dripping oil on me. Oh yeah, it does drip oil, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> look how bad the cracking is in these tires. These tires are just obliterated. Oh, that's loose. We're going to fix that while we're at it. The belt's loose? Yep. Oh, interesting. Didn't notice it's looser than I've noticed on other people's Harleys. Sure. Hmm. I'm with you. I sure didn't notice any drivetrain lash when I was riding it. I think the belt well, kind of solves uh, that. It's a belt, so you, you hardly do notice it. Ah, uh, I was like, that's that's what I thought because it doesn't it doesn't slap around on you very much. You guys are never gonna believe this. Well, actually, all of us believed it. Uh, the back, the rear axle is completely seized in place after pulling the nut off, giving it a couple of wraps with the hammer. It is never going to move. <laughs> you want me to hold that? No, we're good. Okay. So the front is gonna come off, hopefully right now. We're about to find out. And we can put our new calipers on, put our new tire on. We've got new rotors, uh, a new everything, as long as this axle actually comes out. So Marco's jacking the bike up right now. He's got the center jack. Let's uh, just take the brakes off. Brakes are a 12.10 mil socket. After this, Look at that. Caliper let go, no problem. Hey, the axle turns. Oh, look at that. Awesome. All right, I got the wheel. Bang. The other spacer come off? Yeah, I got it out. Cool. I took this one out. You dropped that one. Oh, <laughs> oh no, we damaged the spacer. I don't think these are gonna get hurt. Removed is removed. Removed is removed, that's true. Okay, now what are you trying to do? Well, we've got calipers, pads, rotors, and a tire for the front. So we got one of everything. Ooh, look at those inside pads, they are toast. How much of it are you trying to do? I don't know. Because I could be working on this tire while- Oh, go for it, yeah. While we change the calipers. Christmas time, we get to open up the new Brembo calipers. Somebody's ripping it. <laughs> Where'd you get it? You got like a 06 two stroke, that's impressive. So here is our new rear Brembo that we're not gonna be able to install because it's impossible. But I am excited about this. Everything's just covered in brake fluid. Man, these are CVO. CVO Brembo brakes. Those are beautiful. So these should be the fronts. Everything in this whole box is covered in brake fluid. At least the, makes it easy to get this off. Look at that. 
loaded. Should I just run these pads? <laughs> there oh, those are used. <laughs> yeah, they are used for sure. Yeah. It's between the pads and give it a give it a squeeze and make sure they, they go freely. See how much more brake and fluid comes out. Yeah, you'll want to. <laughs> there's a. It works! Right, so Marco's got the tire off here. You want to set one of these on there and let's just take a gander at it. Man, they make cool noises. It's like having our own drum machine. So these should be a tenth of an inch bigger and like yeah. a thousand thicker. And they're definitely thicker. Those are some, the, we've got the meats. Well, cool. So they said if you run the Brembos without switching to these rotors, uh, the pad surface grips off of the rotor and it tears it all up, you know? So that's why we're switching to these big boys. Beautiful. Is there a difference between left and right? I don't think so. They're the same part number. HD 45 mil, 4.5 mil, um, 445306A. That's what I have here. 445506A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I said it wrong. Cool. Hey, you said O oh, instead of zero. The internet's going to go crazy. This is what learning on the Magic School Bus is all about. Oh, thank God. <laughs> they came out. Harley was like, you want new bolts? And I was like, uh, I mean, I don't think anyone's ever put rotors on it before, so no. Man, those look like they're really in there. It looks like you're putting in some work. I'm just glad they all busted loose without... Absolutely. Heat. <laughs> I guess it uh, doesn't matter what kind of box it is, the cat will find some way to sit in it. Yep. Yep, that cat is sitting in a box. So, the flat side goes out. Over here in brake land, we've got the pads ready to go. They've been disc brake quieted. Uh, this one's all together, ready to go on. This one, I'm about to stick the pads in. We've got all new guide pins and clips and everything. So this is gonna be one very nice setup. Also, here go the old pads. The old pads were actually perfect. I probably shouldn't have replaced these. Uh, they're almost no different than the brand new ones, but hey, we're doing it anyway. Bing! Did I get it right? Almost. <laughs> Wheel bearings checked out. Marco's getting ready to balance it. Jake's taking the big dieseler to get some quick trip food. Mind you, I'm spinning it with the original weights on it still. For sure, yeah, just to see if it's right. Well, it's, there's no way it's right. This is absolutely cheating if you don't have to use the hand pump. This fluid looks wonderful. This does. Same color as the top. There was just more of it. Did you not see the mud in the bottom of that? <laughs> Ain't no mud. 3% dirty if I had to put a rating on it. I lost my wrench there. That's definitely 3% dirty. You're right. You want me to soak it up with this then? Um, sure. I, I need one of those vacuum pumps. All right, this is the dirt Marco was worried about here. He's telling me this is some dirty fluid. <laughs> We, what, let me, let me Jake was like, you don't work on enough hoopties. <laughs> I was like, dude, we see some bad stuff. This is about as good as it gets. This is uh, beautiful. That master cylinder hasn't been at the bottom of a lake for near long Yeah, enough. no one's submerged this motorcycle before. Also, there's not enough water in the brake fluid. We're obviously going to RBF 700. Ah. This bike's getting all the sauce with the Brembos. And we just picked up new stainless hardware. Uh, you do have to change the hardware when you change the brakes. The hardware is M10 by 1.5, just so you know if you're doing this to yours. Um, they don't have 12 point uh, hex heads, so we went to a socket cap, and it's gonna look amazing. <laughs> Should it be vaping like that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Check it out, the V-Rod looks so sick with the CBO brakes. Those Brembos really switch it up. So we've got the front end all together. Marco's got the new tire on there. Of course, we've got blue Loctite on the bolts for the rotors. And now we're going to try to get the back on again. We did some research and by research, I mean, I typed in V-Rod stuck axle and there is like thread, 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 thread. And it was like every V-Rod will be stuck and most Harleys will have a stuck axle. People are saying they're using 20 pound sledgehammers to get the axle out. We were hitting it as hard as I could with a five pounder with the nut on the threads to protect them and Marco holding the bike and it wasn't coming out. So this time we're going to hit it harder. Honestly, every single thread said like one guy said he used his ax and swung it as hard as he could and it finally dislodged. So reach over there, grab this bike. we're about to send it. 
We're gonna spin the bike back around and beat that axle. That new tire makes it look like a new bike. So do those brakes, honestly. Just don't look at the back. Don't look at the back. Or what's left of the front. There is no tire. Push it a bit. I moved it. You moved it? I think so. It felt like it moved. Oh, it's going in. So, we finally got the axle to move all the way flush with the swing arm here using uh, the axe here, I'll place plus our there. giant drift. Oop, stuff's flying. And instead of the axle coming out, the entire wheel bearing came out of the wheel because it's seized onto the axle. So. Now we're trying to fight it back in and just beat it back and forth because there's nothing else to do. Well, we were expecting the flawless victory today and we were not victorious. The Harley has won. So that leaves us, uh, I guess, one for two. One for two is pretty good. It's not happening. I'm gonna put some air on the back tire. It looks a little low. <laughs> it does look a little low. So we're gonna get a new axle and we're gonna heat that thing up like crazy. I'm gonna need a new axle, wheel bearings, all that fun stuff. And we're gonna change it all out, but that's gonna need a truly beat on to get it apart. So, I mean, we gave it our all, that's for sure. There was nothing else to do. The Harley forums oh, say to use we, it. We use? We use the biggest ax. <laughs> we did it just like they say in the Harley forums. Just like they say, use the ax. And uh, I mean, we were truly beating on this thing with three people hitting it. With one person holding it, one person holding the dead blow, and one person holding the ax. We didn't have it. So a lot of people say to take your air hammer and just sit there and beat on it until it frees up. So that might work. We might try a big air hammer. Um, we're gonna get it out of there though. Not a terrific thing, I don't think. Forgot where to put the key in. Never taken it out before. All right. No mufflers. We're going open header. This is a classic YouTube video, basically open header. So the exhaust is just dumping right here. We've got the back of it off. And um, what was the other thing? Oh, I'm super pumped about the front brakes because like, I mean, they are unbelievable. It was not like that before. So I think the Brembo's, obviously you can hear they're very grabby and they stay applied too. We, we did clean those by the way. Oh yeah, yeah. A little brake clean on them. So I think after I take it around the block, it should clean up. So I'm going to do that right now. Uh, and then we're going to go right onto the trailer with it and take it home. Let's see how uh, epic it is with no exhaust. I mean, I mean, annoying. It's about normal, actually. It's always just annoying. Motorcycle man. <laughs> now I wanted to uh, bed them in, so I did a 30 and then a 40, and that 40 I was able to just lock it up, which was awesome. And I wanted to make sure that the wear looked right on the rotor, which it does. So I am thrilled, absolutely thrilled. It sounds like an actual uh, obnoxious Harley without the mufflers on there. <laughs> yes, they're rabbit more. I was <laughs> I was only idling. And the V rod is back in the shop. The front end, amazing. I love it. The back end, we got a ways to go, like you guys saw at Marco's shop. So we're really stuck on that until we can get a torch on this and continue beating the axle out. But I think we gave it everything we had. Harley wins, like I said. Why? Why does the axle seize in the wheel bearings? Every one of those threads says, make sure you put it back together with lots of anti-seize. Harley didn't use any, or didn't use any grease when they were assembled. So unfortunate, but uh, we're gonna solve the problem. That is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shopwatchgr.com for cool shirts, not like this. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. And I will talk to you next time. Harley things, man. Oh, Harley things, man. They really got us. Look at all the oil it leaks. It'll be good someday. All the way down the trailer, just oil. <laughs>
It's got these nice channels for it. It does, it does. Now I'm gonna have to degrease the trailer. So much oil. But man, that whole front end. Those CVO brakes make such a big difference, the CVO Brembos. They say CVO on them, and man, do they work. I also ordered these uh, chrome radiator trim bezels there. I thought they were gonna be outrageously expensive. Turns out, $28 for both. Dirt cheap. So we are gonna get those on there shortly, and that'll make the bike look complete again after we put everything else back on it. So uh, we're gonna try to figure out how to get this axle out. So the next update will probably be when the clutch comes in and we can do the cover gasket, oil change, and the clutch and get that axle all the way out of there. So I think it was a, a good update on the old V-Rod. Got to ride it uh, 100 feet. <laughs> got, to, got to put 100 foot on it. We'll get there. Yep. <laughs>